on Facebook, which has ever been reported as pornography, is a picture of me getting a tattoo on my foot. What? I suppose it may have been an accident. It may have been a simple act of trolling. Maybe someone just wanted to confuse me or piss me off or be rude. But what if it wasn't? What if it's the way I cropped the photo? The fact that all you could see was my face, flushed and contorted in expression, half pain, half elation. Maybe it's my face. Maybe I should have made it more clear in the caption. The only thing penetrating my flesh was a needle. Or that even have helped. Maybe just the idea of my deciding what happens in my body is terrifying, is vulgar, is reportable as smut. Maybe it's all a part of how our culture is terrified of female sexuality, like, ah! Vaginas! Fuck! <laughs> you know, I still hunger for the needle. So count down the days and the dollars to the next drop of ink. This body was a blank page until I put words into it, until I found the break in my spine, light in my eyes, until I tore myself open and became a book. It took me 25 years to feel like I owned this body as if I'd only ever been renting, as if I could have moved out if I wanted to, as if there were anywhere else to go. Maybe that's what they meant when they flagged the image as inappropriate. Maybe there was something deep and hot and primal there that moment when I sank my teeth into my shame, when I claimed my homeland, when I came into this. Oh, this body, woman, the flesh made word. You know, with a body like this, <laughs> I could have never been a sex symbol, but in the old days, I could have been a fertility goddess. There are still men who worship me. Only they prefer to do it in the dark where their gods and other men cannot see them. They have tried their best to teach me that my body is something to be ashamed of, that this house lies on the wrong side of town, that I need to tear it down or strip it to the bones, that renovations are necessary, that I'm a money pit, a fixer-upper, that no one right-minded would ever want to live here. I live here! Is there anything more terrifying than a woman who knows exactly what her body is capable of mastering, who hums her body like a long-remembered song, who sings it like a lullaby given to her by her mother? If the image of my getting exactly what I want in my body, if the look on my face alone is pornographic, imagine the way they will lose their shit when I open my mouth. <laughs>